Hey, it's Justin Brengia, also known as the Hippie Jedi. And I remember growing up introverted, and believe it or not, the only people that I would talk to uh, were my mom, my brother, and my father. So I would never go to a club, as you know, growing up, your friends would go to clubs and go to these places and parties and maybe football games to meet people. I would actually just go on the internet, right? And as crazy as that sounds, I even met my wife today on the internet who, I'm so in love with, by the way, and we have a baby Jedi on the way. Uh, in an MSN chat room, as crazy and bizarre as that sounds, I remember checking out her profile and being captivated by her beautiful smile. We connected uh, upon our spirituality on our profiles. Uh, she was into meditation and a lot of the cool things I was into. And so um, I met up with her that night. I drove down about 30 minutes to her friend's house. We watched a movie and long story short, we fell in love. You see, I dropped out of college actually in my second month. I barely passed high school. I decided to pursue my dream of being an entrepreneur and traveling around the world. So what did I do? Instead of going to college like everyone else, I pursued my dream, became a trainee appraiser in real estate. And uh, after two years of being a trainee, I got my certification, created my own company. It was called Just In Time Appraisals. I had success my very first year, which was like totally unexpected. I created a six figure income. My friends were in shock to like, they're all going to college, you know, paying off their debt. And here I am, I created a six figure income. I was just at the right place at the right time. It was almost impossible not to make money, right? So I saw all these investor friends buy up different properties and flip them and get rich. I said, we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna live happily ever after. Little did we know, the real estate bubble burst back in 2007. And not only did we like lose our dream home, which we built from scratch, but we lost everything we owned. We actually owned four properties at the time and we ended up going $500,000 in debt. I don't know if you can relate to what it feels like to lose everything, but it crushed us and it crushed my wife as well. Um, so this, I was just at a major crossroad in my life, didn't know what to do. I definitely wasn't getting a job, you know, working to pay off my debt debt for my entire life and dying in debt. So I said, I'm gonna pursue my dreams. You know, I, I read a book that really inspired me. It's called The Four Hour Work Week. And I just decided right after reading that book, got one way tickets to Costa Rica and pursue, you know, the life of an entrepreneur. So that's exactly what we did. We actually took pictures of everything inside of our house, put it up on Craigslist and sold it all. And at one point things got so tough we were barely able to afford the rent. So after a few months, our income actually dried up. And uh, once it dried up, we were at a crossroad in our life. But you know what was like the lowest point for me that I remember like it was yesterday that really inspired me to overcome that situation? I'm with my wife and I decided to take her out to this nice restaurant because it was her birthday and I wanted to do something special. And we go to this restaurant and I remember looking at the prices on the menu and I'll never forget this moment. She showed me what she wanted and unfortunately what she wanted cost more than what I had in my wallet. Whew, I don't know if you've ever experienced not being able to provide for your loved one on, a, on her birthday or for your spouse or for your children, but for me, it broke me down inside. I just said, can you please have something from this side of the menu? But when I went home that night, I cried. I was so emotional. I was just so pissed off. I just wanted change. It's like I've read all the right books, right? I feel like I've done everything on the path that I supposed to do, but why? After all this time, am I still struggling? You know, Why am I, am I unable to provide for my wife who I love so much? I knew there had to be a way. I knew there was no going back. We already burnt all our bridges, right? So we um, came to this major crossroad in our life. Basically, the only options was go back to our parents' home and maybe sleep on the couch or beg a friend to sleep in their living room, or we can go to China. I actually had my best friend at the time living in China and he was teaching English. So he shared with me the opportunity and I said, 
heck, this is basically the only thing we can do if we want to pursue our dreams of continuing to travel. So we moved to China because the school, they said, we'll pay for your airfare, we'll pay for your visa, we'll pay for your living. You know, our business online, which we would build part time as we were working full time jobs in China for literally $1,200 a month. And one of the ways I convinced my wife to come with me to China was that we take her home, you know, the both of us, and we visit our family on Christmas. And I remember saving up about $1,200 from the online business between that and working, which was enough to afford one ticket, but we needed two. So I saw this tool online that said pretty much promised me that I could double my lead flow and double my income with this tool. So I invested into it, but unfortunately it did not go as planned. We actually lost everything that we invested into the tool. So not only did we not make money, but we lost a little bit of money that we did had, which left us stranded inside China during the holidays. And I remember having to break the news to my wife saying I lost all the money, right? And we weren't able to get back and see our family in the holidays. And this really broke my heart, right? I was actually went to bed crying that night and I made a decision right there that, you know, my life has to change. I have to do something different. But I told her, baby, if you just stick through this, I, I mean, we have a dream, we have a vision, even though we don't have success yet, I believe if we follow our dreams, the universe will provide. It's going to happen, but it may take another six months, it may take another year. Just trust in me, baby. If you can have faith in me, I can promise you that one day, someday, somehow, we will live our dreams. I guarantee you that. And I just thank God that she trusted in me because after 13 months of living in China, we were finally able to afford enough money to be able to move back to Costa Rica because our online business started to take off. I mean, we started to earn $2,000 a month, which is enough to live a pretty decent lifestyle in Costa Rica. And this is around the time my wife said, baby, I think it's time we have a child. And I'm, I'm all for it because I've always wanted three children since I was a younger child anyways. But then all of a sudden we wake up and this online business that we were building decided to enhance the comp plan, which in layman terms meant reduce two thirds of our income overnight. So our $2,000 income went down to $500. And again, now we're barely able to afford our rent. Pretty big struggle with my wife, you know, trying to break the news that I am not ready for a child. I, you know, my, my argument was that if we can barely afford to pay the rent and feed ourselves, how can we bring a baby, a baby Jedi into this world? We knew there had to be a way. And then all of a sudden this mentor appeared in our lives. And this is a guy who was willing to show us exactly what he did to overcome his circumstance because he was living in a van. I said, if this guy can do it, baby, we can do it. So we just went for it. We emptied our cup and we were just willing to learn because if you think you know it all but you know you're stuck in your life where you are well then maybe you don't have all the answers and the more knowledge I gained the more I realized the less that I know right so I decided to listen to every word he told me and basically this is what happened I did ABC it worked just like he said it would and within 30 days our lives transformed we had our first $26,000 month and our life hasn't been the same since so now it's our higher purpose. I mean, it's truly our mission to help others attain freedom because there's nothing more that we want than to help others break free from the matrix. And if you're like me, you knew there's another way. You just really don't know how. So what I'd love the opportunity, what we'd love the opportunity to do now is take the time to actually show you our blueprint, you know, walk you through A, B, and C. So go ahead and click the link below. We appreciate you taking the time out to watch this video and to invest in your dreams and your freedom. So Justin and Dee Brengia signing out. Love and light, my friends. <laughs>